It's another top dog, and it's all done. Couldn't resist. Okay. It's finished, and boy, does it look great. Uh, we're shipping this one out. Uh, we've done all of our usual things, plus we've done a really nice mod. Oh, uh, Top Dog has a real piece of uh, glass in the back here. It's not um, uh, but, uh, mylar, but actual real silkscreen back glass, and it's in terrific condition. And look what else we've done. My, uh, Marco Specialties makes the brand new pin scores. God loves them. Because these pin scores allow you to put all new displays in your machine. They'll probably last longer than you and I ever will. And you don't have to replace those old glass displays. A really nice upgrade. We've cleaned the inside, of course. Uh, lithium battery uh, last about six years with our quick connects, so they're easy to change when they fail. We flowed solder around the edges. The power supply has been rebuilt with all new capacitors. We don't need the high voltage. It's another nice feature. You don't need the high voltage unit when you run this new pin scoreboard, just five volts. So the LEDs are also low voltage. So consequently, our game here uses a lot less electricity than on the original um, amperage uh, sheet. In the back. That's, a, that's the black, another game over there. Beautiful panel here. This is brand new. The, uh, the, they call this the pin glass. Look inside, how nice and clean it is here. We've washed this whole surface, scrubbed and cleaned all these connections, so they're all running nice and smoothly. We've reflowed solder on all of the um, lamp sockets, too, underneath the playfield. This board is actually pulled out completely, and then we go over all those rollover switches. It takes hours to do that. Nobody wants to do that because it takes hours, but we spend the time because it's worth doing then consequently you'll have little or very no low you'll have little or no failure of those switches. I got a, I got a knot in my mouth here. <laughs> now what are you doing young man? Now he's waiting. He's waiting for me to finish this video, aren't you? Anyway, let's get up here. We got brand new uh, uh, instruction card plate, metal plate, stainless steel, beautifully done, remade by Steve Young at Pinball Resource. You couldn't buy these for about six months. Nobody had them. I sent two samples, two different lengths to Steve, and he's made them up now, and they're just terrific. So you can buy them from directly from him uh, and make your game look like new, especially if you do the T-molding from T-molding.com. We have new casters under the peg legs. We have rolled high-gloss black on the sides here and up front here Steve has done his beautiful touch-up work with his paintbrush. I think he's actually over there. You know what, wait a minute. Come over here. Dash over here. Let's see where that is. Searching. Yes, there he is. Searching. Searching. A lot of people haven't seen this. No, no. Over Searching. Okay, real quick. Let me show you. Steve is doing his favorite color, pink. <laughs> I like pink. <laughs> Unlike Kurt. Hey. Uh, hey. Look. Kurt sees well, pink Look at the difference in color. <laughs> look at the difference in color. It's Very unbelievable. When this, wait until you see how this looks when it's done. It's going to look as terrific as me. Hey, come back. Let's finish. See you, Steven. You know, everybody needs to finish. All right. Christopher here. It's still waiting patiently for me to finish. So, here's the side on this side. Absolutely terrific looking. Look back here. We've taken this board out. We've marked the connectors so our customer who's getting the machine will easily be able to match everything up and plug everything back in correctly, which is a very important thing. We need to plug our things in right. That's right. So that'll all be attended to, and we're going to have everything marked where the bolts go, so everything is going to be easy to restore. Oh, down here. New casters. Everybody skips them. We don't. New cast or rollers in the front, casters in the front. So that way the game can be easily picked up and rolled in and out in your game room. You're not dealing with wobbly, dirty, broken, flat on one side casters. They won't work well, will they? Now, what we need to do is play a game, but you know what? I don't see I got it. Oh, 
on. I get that. This puck flies, and we don't even have uh, uh, wax on. Ah, I keep um umming again. Anyway, beautiful game. Now, if you're familiar with the game, you can choose one of five different games. I have to start. I got it. Each game has something that's indigenous for the game. A tic tac toe uses the tic tac toe board there. And the instruction cards here on the front tell you how to play that game. Here's tic tac toe. Shoot strikes to light three lamp tic tac toe string. So you try to get three in a row. Really clever game. Lots to do. Beautiful game. And baby, it's going on its truck tomorrow. We'll get this out of here. And we're ready to sell you one when you're ready. We're in the Yellow Pages under Amusement. Ah, living is good, isn't it, folks? That's all for now. Good night.